hey guys welcome so you guys popular nollywood actress rita dominic anosike has shared the reasons why she kind of got married at a not so early age even when she had numerous suitors she shared um, what she has learned in her marriage that is going to be two years in april in an interview mm -hmm, <laughs> she doesn't grant a lot of interviews so it's great to see her grant an interview where she shared how she met her husband mr fidelis anosike and why she got married not so early you guys watch how's married so far it's nice <laughs> It's, inter it's interesting. I'm mm. blushing. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nice. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been how many years? Two years now? Right? Two years, yeah. Yeah. Two years in April in for April. the traditional marriage. I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. How did you meet? How did you, you know, <laughs> hit it up? <laughs> you don't have to turn oh purple now. Oh my god, now. I am turning pink. <laughs> um, well, we were friends for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. We found love and dated and then got married. Mm -hmm. And um, this is this your first marriage? Yeah. And it came two years ago. Yeah. Why did you wait so long? Why did I wait so long? I wanted to do it. I wanted to be sure that I was marrying for the right reasons and not for the reasons, you know, that stems from societal pressure. Was society given pressure about the timing of, course, of it? Of course. There were pre I mean, even before I got married, the pressure was there for years. But, you know, um, I just turned it. A deaf ear. Yeah. Yeah. Because this was way after 45, right? Yes, of course. And I'm yeah. sure people will be like, okay, Rita, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, they were doing that, but I couldn't be. Because at the end of the day, like I always said, I will marry the man of my dreams and not the man of society dreams for me. Because if anything goes wrong tomorrow, I'll be the one left to pack up the pieces. Yeah. And not the society. Mm. So I'll do it when I want to do it at the right time. And I believe I did it at the right time with the right person. Okay. Why do you think it, it took that long? Was it because there were not too many good people or right people around you? I met quite a number of people, but maybe we just, it just didn't yeah. happen. It just didn't work out. Okay, two and years. I do, and, I don't, and I don't believe in forcing things. You know, yeah. if it's not working, if you guys are not compatible, there's no point in mm. forcing things and then you go into it and then tomorrow you're out of it. Yeah. For what reason? Did the fact that you were such a huge public figure also make it more difficult to get married i don't think so i think that's even when you have a lot of people wanting to marry you so then you have, you have a, a, a problem of choice oh, it's possible but that was the case huh maybe yeah it looks like it right i'm not answering <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to give anybody marriage advice after two years what would you tell them marry a friend uh -huh. yeah yeah. marry a friend and um, make sure you guys your goals and dreams are aligned so you've heard from the graceful rita dominique she said that it was not because there were no men checking her out there were no men trying to get married to her it was just maybe a case of her trying to make a choice and maybe she didn't make the choice um I, I think one thing i like about the interview is that she doesn't sound like she regrets her decision she's not trying to blame anybody because some people will grant this kind of interview and try to um, throw a subtle shade to somebody who broke their heart when they were younger and all that but she looks like or she seems or sounds like a very very confident woman confident in herself confident in the choices that she made you know in her life obviously she would have made a couple of mistakes you know here and there when she was younger but she's She's not trying to blame another person or, um, you know, and leave herself out of it. She's actually very confident in her choice. And I'm actually happy for her that she found love eventually. And we're just really hoping that um, this love she has found will actually last. And she shared, like, you know, advice <laughs> that, oh, just marry somebody whose dreams align with your alliance with yours. Because at this age, I'm sure that she's not going to get married to somebody who's going to tell her, oh, stop doing this, oh, stop acting, oh, stop doing showbiz. She don't, person, they pass something, eh? <laughs> people in nigeria say person they pass don't be stupid so person they pass something she has passed that stage of getting married just for marrying sick i'm sure she would have been fine without being married and everything so i'm sure she made the choice not because of pressure like she said earlier on she was facing societal pressure people were like oh she's beautiful she was su she's successful you know she she got to the peak of her career everybody knows rita dominic it's rita dominic is the one and only rita dominic so everybody knows her so i'm sure that she after passing the stage of oh this whole pressure she's saying i don't want to succumb to the pressure she had to stay and 
hopefully she made the right choice with her husband fidelis anosiki let me know what you guys think in the comment section what do you think about societal pressure actually and marriage especially in africa and women who are you know above 20 because um, uh, the moment you're in your early 20s in nigeria or in africa everybody starts asking you when are you bringing somebody home and all that kind of stuff so imagine with adamly getting married after 45 i can't even begin to imagine all the years of like she said blocking her ears from <laughs> all the pressure share with me guys in the comment section what your thoughts are is the real show thank you for watching like share subscribe i will see you in my next video Bye bye